we had the Prime Minister on the program and he was saying that, that Australia still calls for a de-escalation and a ceasefire, but at the same time says Israel has a right to defend itself. Do you, do you see how some people look at that and think, well, actually, you can't achieve both at the same time, that Israel is making incursions, the US is supporting them in doing that now. Should Australia be explicit and say, we support Israel making incursions into Lebanon? Israel does have a right to defend itself under international law, and that includes uh, against terrorist organisations like Hezbollah. Um, more generally, though, it is in the interests of all of the people living in Lebanon, in Gaza, in Israel, for there to be a de-escalation in the Middle East. And it's why Australia has joined um, with many other countries, uh, with the G7, at other times, um, with a broader coalition, in calling for diplomatic solutions. But on those in incursions in now that are happening to degrade Hezbollah, we support that. We've been very clear that we support Israel's right to defend itself. And that includes in, those? In accordance with international law. And international law, of course, requires um, any country that's uh, you know, seeking to take action in self-defence to observe principles of proportionality, distinction. Um, that is a, a, a clear in, a principle of international law. But when you're dealing it with terrorists... It doesn't obviate from yeah. the need for a diplomatic solution sure. in the I... area. And we really have joined with all of the other parties um, that you'd ordinarily want to associate yourself with, you know, the sure. United States, the UK, Canada, in calling for a de-escalation and a diplomatic solution in the region. And that, but take you on those terrorists and making incursions... We are on the same page as the US. We support that. We're supportive of actions that are consistent with international humanitarian law. And we've been very clear about that from the very beginning. Um, we've said that Israel has a right to defend itself, um, but how it does yeah. so matters. And international law is the framework within which that self-defence takes place. Emergency Minister, Emergency Management Minister Jenny McAllister, thanks so much. Thanks, Karen. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.